Hello everyone. This is a video lecture on Fourier series. Now, in short we can say that a Fourier series is a representation of a function in a series of sine and cosine. That is a trigonometric series. The very next questions that pop up in your mind is. What is a trigonometric series? Can all functions be represented as a Fourier series? Why is it important? Now many algebraists find analysis hard. They ask that can we reduce it to algebra. So they seek the answers in power series. We will see why power series cannot be used in many cases to represent a function and how Fourier series will almost fulfill their dream. 1. Many functions can be written as a power series as given in equation 1 below. If we can somehow relate C n with F, then everything will be much easier and more algebraic. 2. If we can express F as in equation 1 above then C n must be given as in equation 2 below. But there is a problem here. The series may not converge or it might but not to F. For example, if f of x is given as a to the power minus 1 by x square if x is not 0, and 0 if x is 0, then it can be shown that c n must be 0 for all natural number n. Then from equation 1, from the previous slide, f is identically 0 which is not true. Another problem is that different infinitely differentiable functions can have the same power series. For example, the function f from the previous example and the constant function 0. Here both f and the constant function 0 is infinitely differentiable and have the same power series. In our next video we will see more on the limitations of power series and develop the idea of Fourier series. If you have any comments regarding this video please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you.